Hi. Hello, and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. <sighs> Alright, let's get straight into the game. Hmm. Wait. Oh, yeah. This is the last one. Hmm. The autosave was not too generous. Yep, this is where we were. We danced a little with someone and talked to Zax. Oh, I need to upscale my screen brightness. There you go. That's a little better. Hmm. Oh, gosh. This game war is getting out of hand. The Falkers aren't just attacking the hidden Bex anymore. They go after everyone. I haven't been playing enough of anything recently. So I told you to leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like bantha poodoo. Koyami juski chika nai. Little girl should not be in the bar. No place for a little girl. Eat little smart girl. She run away now. Listen in manners. Just a sec, boys. Sawbar, a little help here? I need you to rip the legs off some insects. <laughs> Quit complaining. You can finish eating later. Besides, you need the exercise, so get over here. You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. So unless you want to take on my furry friend, I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. That's not luck. She brought that big friend with her for a reason, Rodian. Alright. Mission. Oh! Her name. What? Is her name Mission? Say, I don't recognize you, and I know pretty much everyone in the lower city. You must be new down here. I guess that makes me and Big Z your official welcoming committee. Uh, that's weird. The, a Twi'lek who... A Twi'lek. What? Twi'lek? A Twi'lek who speaks Galactic Basic. It's not that strange. Most aliens can speak Basic, they just prefer to use their own language. But I grew up here on Terra, so I just sort of got used to speaking the native tongue. You showed a lot of guts dealing with those Vulkers, kid. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo, and this big Wookiee is my best friend Zalbar. I'd offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. But if there's anything else you need. Hmm. How do a Wookiee and a Twi'lek street urchin end up as best friends? That is a qu good question. I would assume that she is, you know, uh, she has done some work with a Wookiee. We just kind of fell in together. It ain't easy on your own here in the lower city. Everyone's always looking to push you around. So we noticed. Still, you seem like an odd pair. When I met up with Zalbar, it seemed like a pretty good match. I knew we could look out for each other. With my street smarts and his muscle, we make a great team. Yeah, but what do you do, like, to do here? Well, you came to the right person. If you want info on Lower Terrace, I'm the one to talk to. Davik, the Lower City Gangs. I even got the scoop on that bounty hunter, Kalo Nord. How? How do you know bounty hunters? Kalo Nord's one of the most famous bounty hunters in the galaxy. He's killed more people than the Iridian Plague. I've seen him kill people just for trying to talk to him. He hangs around Zack's bounty office, but I don't think he's looking for work there. All the postings there are small time. Way beneath a bounty hunter of his caliber. I figure Kalo's been hired by Davik to do a special job for the exchange. I'd wager a thousand credits that as soon as the quarantine ends, he'll be getting off this rock. Okay. 
So can you tell me about this Davik guy? I keep hearing about him. Davik's part of the Intergalactic Crime Syndicate, but I guess so... everyone knows that. But I hear he's got a new ship for his smuggling operations, the Ebon Hawk. I don't know much about space travel, but I hear that ship's fast enough to break the Sith blockade. Of course, Ooh. this is all just secondhand rumor. Where would he keep it, do you know? If Davik does have a ship, he's got it locked up in his estate. Nobody gets in there, except the people working for Davik and the Exchange. Sore. Hmm. I think that's it. I'll be going now. You going? Yeah, this dive is pretty boring. No action around here. Come on, Big Z, let's go. <laughs> Can't you think about something besides your stomach for five minutes? Come on. We'll go see if there's anything good to eat at the Beck base. A 60 experience just for talking. That's good. But that is an interesting question. So, Urban Dictionary entry for Sith. Take it from Star Wars Geek. The Sith were originally an alien species outside the realm of the jurisdiction of the Old Republic. When the first Dark Jedi uprising occurred roughly 20 millennia prior to the movies, the original movies that is, the Dark Jedi were cast out and stumbled upon the Sith worlds. The Sith held the Dark Jedi as gods, and so began the Sith Empire, where Sith magic and the dark side of the Force, uh, well, started, I guess. But yeah, I saw Davik's new starship at the spaceport before the quarantine. They say it's the fastest ship on Terrace. He calls it the Ebon Hawk. They told us about a uh, Sith in. One Star Wars book that I did read. I can't talk to Zalbar. Um, I, I read Darth Plagueis, which was a really good book, but it's not canon anymore. Back again? Well, ever since I was banned from the Upper Cantina, I've been desperate to find no. a good game of Bazak. You want to play? No, I'll be going if now. If you're ever looking for a match and you get tired of. Bye. I'm not interested in playing with you. Come on now, dude. Hmm. That's the place where we were. And this is a new place. Jakacha. What do you want, human? You come here to stare. You think we are strange? Uh, honestly, yeah. Uh, I want to ask some questions. That's really weird. What kind of creature are you? <laughs> Fire Duak. Okay. So I noticed that your other head doesn't actually say much. Hmm. What planet are you from? Great. Two voices create the name, and four ears are required to hear it. Uh, Sorius. Okay. I think that's it. How are you going now? Honestly, I would like to, you know, listen to everything, but I'll do that on my own time, someday in the future. Mm. Alright, there's nothing else here. Uriah, oh yeah, Uriah Heap. I remember him. Now, where are we going? To Hidden Beck Base. 
Um, the search for Bastilla. Your Sith disguise has pulled the guard at the upper city elevator, giving you access to the lower city. Hopefully it will be just as easy to gain access to the undercity, so you can search for signs of Bastilla's crashed escape pod. Undercity. I would need a better map. Like, really. Can I buy a map somewhere? Uh, Rakul Serum. Oh, yeah, we know about that. We discovered that Guard's homeworld was attacked by Sith. Perhaps... Oh, yeah, Garth was uh, our friend here. Basically, Caden. Caden Alenko. <laughs> uh. Alright. Other than that... Yeah, hidden deck hideout. Hey, you can't just walk in here. This is the hidden back base. How do I know you're not a Vulcan spy sent to kill Gadon Thek? Well, I'm not a spy. Hmm. I need Gadon's help. I was told to speak to him. A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadon. He's a hero of the common folk. But the days of the Hidden Beck's open door policy are gone. Between the Sith conquest and the Vulture gang war, Gadon has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. Um, maybe a bribe? Uh, I don't like bribes. Maybe I could be an ally against those enemies. Against Sith and... Volcar gang. Hmm. Well, we do need all the help we can get. And you don't look like you're with the Vulcars or the Sith. Besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm Gadden in the heart of his own base. Not with Zedra watching his back. So you're letting me in? Go in and speak to Gadden if you want. Just well, that remember to be on your best behavior. The hidden Vex are watching you. Wow. Yeah, all I was saying that maybe I can help and that gave me a chance to go in without a bribe huh. so the persuasion option was clearly much worse hidden back yeah, you are not too well hidden I am literally a tourist Hmm. I feel like we should Hold remember right there. that. Who are you? And what is your business with Gadden? Calm down, Zerdra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a really? suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Brezhik and his Vulkers want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on sight, Zerdra? Like the Vulcas do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Vulcar spy. Sore. What, but why would I say that? I mean... <laughs> you are... I am literally... <laughs> These people do not care what's happening on the screen. Uh, yeah. Get on pick. Hello. You'll have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Brezhik and the Vulkers began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. The problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? So, um, hmm. I need information on those Republic escape pods that crashed in the Undercity. The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the Upper City about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm oh, down, Zerdra. 
If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has his own agenda. Yeah, I'm not working for the Sith yet. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas, and that's okay in my oh, The okay. Vulcas stripped those pods clean within hours after they landed. Hmm. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcas found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. We Bex don't believe in intergalactic slavery, but the Vulcas aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. Bastilla as a slave? What will happen to her now? Normally, the Vulcas would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastilla is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out Shut a way up. to escape from the Vulcan base on her own. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulcan scum at the base. Brezhik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. Uh, what? Swoop race? What does that have to do with it? I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezhik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual swoop gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezhik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila then? Well, we can't fight all the gangs. The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the swoop race. Hmm. So can you, Gadon, help me with this? I might be able to help you with this. If you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here. And much to lose. Okay, so what are you proposing? I, I really don't like this. I don't like where this is going, but... The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hidden Vex this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulcars stole the prototype from I us. See. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. So that's where I come in at first. I don't mean... So what do these people even do themselves? <laughs> like, really? Are these people doing anything? There's a lot of people here. How am I supposed to get inside a Volcar base? Getting into the Volcar base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Veil. Vale. Mission? Course. Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Mission's explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Volcar base, it's her. We just saw Mission Veil. Vale. Okay, where can I find her? She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring in the Undercity, despite the dangers. Your best nice. bet is to look for her in the Undercity, but you'll need some way past the Sith Guard post at the elevator. I've got some Sith uniforms to disguise myself. A simple disguise might have worked on the Upper City Guard, but the security down here is much tougher. You'll need the proper papers to get past him. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. Um... What do you want with Sith uniforms? I like to be prepared. Eventually, the Sith are going to try to drive us out of the Undercity. Sith disguises might give my people the edge we need in a crucial battle. Hmm. Okay, fine. I'll trade the uniforms for the papers. Good choice. 
Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? I mean, the uniform is more than just a uniform, it's an armor. So, well. I want to ask some questions, maybe. Your time would probably be better spent going after the prototype swoop engine the Vulcan oh, stole from shas. us. But I'll answer your questions if I can. <laughs> Ooh. Is there something wrong with your eyes? Uh, what's up with the freaky eyes, old man? Oh, gosh. Is there something wrong with your eyes? Uh, well, let's go with it. Uh, very tactful. Are you itching for a fight or something? How dare you? I should kill you where you stand. Calm down, Zerdra. I'm not ashamed of what I've become. As you can see, I lost my eyes in a swoop racing crash. I rely on these artificial replacements to see now. But my blindness was not the worst consequence of my accident. My affliction was what eventually led to this war between my Bex and the Vulkers. Wait, what? How? How? What do you mean? When I lost my sight in the swoop bike accident, everyone assumed I would step down as leader of the Hidden Becks and let Brezhik, my most trusted follower, take over. But with my ocular implants, I can still see well enough to lead this gang. And I knew Brezhik wasn't ready to take over yet. Unfortunately, Brezhik didn't agree with me. In a rage, he left to join our arch rivals, the Black Vulkers. A lot of the younger gang members followed him. And soon, he and his followers had taken control of the Vulcan gang. But why start a war? Sounds like Brezhik is acting like a spoiled brat. Brezhik is a proud man. My decision was a public humiliation for him. Maybe if I had stepped down, this gang war could have been avoided. Don't fool yourself, Gadden. Brezhik wants to control the lower city gangs. If you'd stepped down, he'd have led the Bex against the Vulcans. He wanted this war, one way or another. I know you're right, Zerdra. Breshik won't rest until I am dead and the Becks are no more. But it's hard to accept the truth of his betrayal. Okay. It's fine, I'll be going now. Feel free to come back anytime. We're not like those Vulcan savages. Strangers are welcome in the Beck base. Sore. Not, not extremely welcome. I almost needed to bribe myself in. Also, why? Why would you let people in your base? Okay, let's just... Control room. Locked. Standard door. Are we about to steal from these guys? I think we might. Just let me look around first. Just in case, you know. Plus the cylinder. Air kit, frag grenade, credits. Uh, did I did I get everything? Yes, I did. Okay. I think we just stole from these guys. Oh well, it happens. That's locked. Hmm. Anything else in here? Standard door. Huh? Empty room. Man, these people need some furniture. Let's let's get out of here. Now, which way are we going? Taris, lower city. Um, to Javers, Cantina. Yeah, I know that one, but why would we go there? Hmm. Oh, it's for that mission. But, search for Bastila. Garantek, a leader of the hidden back swoop gang. 
will help you get Bastilla back if you recover prototype swoop accelerator stolen by the rival Black Volkers. He suggested you look for Mission Veil in the Undercity or the sewers to help you get in. Alright, Undercity. Well, let's just go this way and see where it leads us. Oh. Why are these people attacking me? Like, yeah, they are black walkers, but... You know. You asked for this. Just kill it. Just kill the bugger. Could you? There you go. Hmm. Oh my god. The old RPG combat. Oh god, I need to med back myself. Um just stop doing those things and med back. There you go. Then kill that fucker. Go! Murder! There you go. Nicely done. Greedots and uh, Adred. Alacrity. Yes, that thing. More. You guys are behind with your payments. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? Davik claims he's part of the chains, so let's see him prove it. Looking like a kebab, Jeff. Ah, so you want to play this the hard way. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, hey, <coughs> Kenderus, we didn't know you were working for Davik now. We were just looking around. Here's Davik's cut. I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Kendrus. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. Yeah, do you mean like uh, <clears throat> this guy with his two swords looking like a kebab set? Or do you mean this guy looking like it? <laughs> uh, I don't think this guy, this blonde white man here has never looked like he has even seen a kebab in his Those life. Those Valkers are dumber than a Coruscant granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadon keeps his hidden Bex in line, but Brezik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, mm -hmm. he'll slap that young punk back down. Where are you? I'm someone you don't want to get on the bad side of. And I'm Deal. not one for small talk. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Davik's got me working on a special assignment. All right. These are for lower city apartments. Ooh, what's happening here? Chiwi aita ka chong chicha. Agi inko tune chuna mori ra. Tangi wama jiko na. Tong ki pa non ku nek abog chiyo kaku. Kinbaluriga, that's Kalo Nor, the infamous bounty hunter. Oh, that's him. There's a bounty on your little green heads. I'm here to collect. 
Over our cold, dead bodies. Accurate being a cold-blooded species. That was quick. Wait. Did we need to know anything about Kalonor? Like, um... I can't remember. Uh, yeah, it was mission. Mission uh, that lady in the bar was mentioning Kalo Nord. So, yeah. Huh. I don't know where I'm going, but we're going there anyway. Let's just explore this place. Oh, more of you people. Hi! How you doing? And then after grenade... Oh gosh. Let's just kill this bugger. Man, I am not good at this. Just... Stop doing that and go do that one. Come on now. Come on now. There you go. Remember, you can use the rapid transit system to return to your base. On the map screen, you will see a button that says Return to hideout. Press this button to instantly transport you back to the apartment. While in the apartment complex, uh, the button on the map screen will read Transit back. Pressing this will transport you back to the location where you last used the re Return to hideout function. Go to your map screen now to use the Return to hideout button. This button is disabled during combat and in certain areas. Yeah, sure. First... Oh. I can't move. Fine. Let's go here. Return to hideout. When you, use, when you use the return to function, you'll be instantly transported back to your base, and your entire party will be healed. This function is disabled, yeah, in um, combat situations and so on. But... Oh, hello Jim Jim, good day to you too. Uh, you pretty much see how I'm traveling. With a rapid transit, currently. But, there's no reason to really use that other, other than healing. But yes, and the old KOTOR. I have never played it before, but I feel like I should. It's kind of like, hmm, one of those games that I should not bring up that I have never even watched it being played. So... Official Sith business are allowed into the Undercity. Unless you've got the proper security papers, you better just turn around and go back the way you came. Now, I got my papers right here. Let me see. Uh, yeah, these look to be in yep. order. Okay, you can go down if you want. Can't say I envy you, though. The Undercity is crawling with mutants. Rack ghouls, they call them. If you see anything moving down there, shoot first and ask questions later. Okay, um, yeah, I'm actually playing on my own time Dragon Age Origins, so... Um, because I got a little bit into it, um, it was easier to start playing this, because the controls are very much the same. 
this you is there, very much an older game. Anyone but... using this yeah. elevator has to pay the toll. Yeah, this is our elevator. If you use it, you gotta give us something. I don't believe no deal. this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us down. Five credits. That's what it costs to use our elevator. Five credits. Ah. <sighs> Get out of here, you filthy beggars, or. Ah, that sounds about right. Get out of here, you filthy beggars. Or I'll use my blaster to end you suffering and your suffering permanently. Run, my brother! Flee this one's wrath! <laughs> Go on, you two, get out of here! I'm sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. Yeah, owning an ele elevator is a good aspiration to have, but I agree, owning an escalator is much better. If you have a toll at an escalator, you can um, get a lot more people to pay. My name is Visseneko, how are you? Now, how are you? Well, okay, I'll ask, how are you? My name is Shalina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? I've... I've never seen it. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? Oh, absolutely. It's basic, basically just angel, angels all around. Hmm. Ah, the surface is a beautiful place. I've never been to the surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars. It all sounds so... so... so wonderful. Gendar, the leader of our village, tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Maybe he's right. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But when I was little, Rukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. Um, it's not an impossible dream and you can achieve anything and so on, you know. You know the routine. Rukil, who's that? Rukil is the oldest man in the village. The kids call him <laughs> Rukil Wrinkleskin, but he's a kind man. He used to tell me the greatest stories when I was a little girl. I still like to listen to his tales about the Promised Land, even though I know they're just legends, but it helps to make the Undercity seem less... less dark somehow. <sighs> well, owning an escalator has never occurred to me. Um, and I can't take the credit in the future if I actually own an escalator. I will give the credit to you, I think. At least I will name an escalator after you. Jim Jim Escalator. The Promised Land. What's that? It's, it's just a story to make little children smile. Rukil believes in it, though. Sometimes I can almost believe it myself, but then I look around and see the ugly truth. I guess we have to make the best of what we have, though. If you really want to learn more about the Promised Land, you should speak to Rukil. I plan to. Where can I find him? He's wandering around somewhere on the south side of the village. He doesn't move too far. He's hard on his bones. He's over 100 years old. The children laugh at him, oh, and people okay. think he's crazy because of his stories about the Promised Land, but he's really just a kind old man. Oh, uh, I'm suggesting to this girl here. Oh, sure. Just... Yeah. An escalator would not be a bad idea, though. Like, an elevator between these Undercity and lower Undercity is bound to be crowded sometimes. Sorry. Come on now, Jim Jim. No apologies for something like that. Um, Alright. Where can I find Gendar? Not the Pokemon. He'll be somewhere in the village. I couldn't say where for sure. He's always busy doing whatever he can to make the lives of the other villagers easier. Okay. Hmm. Oh, do you know anything about the escape pods that 
crashed into the undercity. That's what we are actually looking for. I don't know anything about that, but maybe Gendar could help you. Sorry. Yeah. Is there anything else you need? No, I don't think so. Oh, that's a, another good question. Have any other upworlders come through here recently? There were quite a few people from the surface marching through the village, but none of them bothered to talk to me. Gendar might know more about them. So, that's... Yeah, that's all there is to it. I'll be going now. Oh, okay. Well, if you ever need anything, or if you just feel like talking, come back and see me. I hardly ever get a chance to speak to someone from the upworld. I feel like we are going to see Shalina again. But yeah, outcast women, and that's Rokil. Also, we we have Kate and Elengo with us here. Just Jim Jim, you have played Mass Effect, so. Yes. What's on your mind? <laughs> Terrace. Well, the planet's all one big city, but its golden years are long past, and things have gotten worse since the Sith occupied it. From what I hear, the wealthy live on the tops of all the tall towers, and if you're poor, you live down in the shadows, and it gets worse the lower you go. Well, that's all I can think of, at any rate. You got it. There you go. It's endlessly hilarious to me to uh, have Caden with me again. Hello, Rukio. You, you come from the world above. Yeah, I do. Is this the time of destiny then? Is this a portent of the salvation of my people? Or merely another false sign to mislead us from the path? No, Are you I am your morning star. The beacon to guide us through the darkness? Or are you merely another harbinger of shattered dreams and unfulfilled promises? Be careful. Both. This one might be crazy enough to be dangerous. Maybe. Speak to me, Upworlder. Tell me what fate you unleash upon us. Salvation or damnation? Speak, Upworlder. I beg you. <laughs> Going to sacrifice himself so he can, uh, so I can romance Ashley again. I... Uh... I only saved Ashley one time myself because honestly I really don't like Ashley Williams but um, uh, okay then could I ask some questions a question you are uncertain bewildered perplexed oh hello Bulba. I suppose <laughs> even after a hundred years of life I myself still become confused at times. Perhaps I can make things more clear. Some things, at least. My name is Rukil, the oldest outcast here in the village. Rukil Wrinkleskin, the children call me sometimes. Ah, you love this game. I hear a lot of good things, and uh, honestly, I really just started. Even though I did have a stream before, but still I'm only like three hours in. I'm Viseneku. What do you want from me, Rukil? Once I was honored for my wisdom. But over time, <laughs> the villagers fell away from the true path. Eventually, there was only a single apprentice who followed me. And now she is gone too. Oh, who was that? What happened to your apprentice? My apprentice is... lost. I sent her out into the Undercity to find... Well, I cannot tell you. Not yet. Sadly, my apprentice has not returned. Please, Upworlder, will you help an old man? Will you seek out my apprentice in the Undercity? Her name is Malia. I must know of her fate, whatever it may be. I must know what she found. Uh, yeah, I feel like... It's the same thing with a lot of older Bioware games, including Mass Effect. It starts very slow, but if you push through it, it will get more interesting. But, yeah. Finding her may be difficult. Malia could be anywhere in the Undercity, but if you will find her, I will know you to be our true savior. Only then can I reveal my secret knowledge to you. 
Of course. And yeah, I suppose that's right, but I have patience for BioWare. I do too. I, I can say that, except that I haven't actually played the last Mass Effect game, the Mass Effect Andromeda. Even though... Also, Anthem is... Like, I don't know if I can play that one either. We'll see where Bioware is going, but the older Bioware games are actually really good, so I have high hopes for this, I have to say. I wish you luck, Upworlder. Come speak to me again once you have discovered the fate of my apprentice. Journal entry added, of course. <sighs> and there's Gengar. Greetings, Upworlder. We rarely see your kind here in the Undercity. I find it strange that so many of you have come down from the surface recently. No offense, but I can see why people normally avoid this place. Why have you come into come this on. dark and sunless place? Is there something you need of me or my village? I will help you however I can. Mm, the Mass Effect uh, Trilogy is... Uh, the ending is so good with mods. But the original ending, no. I just like the ending with mods. <laughs> so, it might not be canon, but that's my head canon. I don't want it to continue from there. Hmm. Uh, I'm speaking of Mass Effect, of course. Who are you people? Um, oh, yeah, you said something about other upworlders who came by here recently. Our village has seen many visitors from the surface recently. Armored troops, swoop gang members, mercenaries. Oh. They come to search our sunless world. They're even searching the sewers. I think I'm um, playing this vanilla for the first time. If I go back to it, then I'd uh, look into the mods. But is there something important that I should get? Um, you can't post links in the chat, so warning about that, but um, if you can say uh, something like really important, uh, just a mod title, that would be nice. I would I'd be glad to Google it later. Um, oh yeah, I'm looking for a Twi'lek named Missin Vau. Yes, I have seen this Twi'lek many times, though I've never spoken to her. She and her Wookiee companion often pass through our village on their way to explore the sewers. Hmm. So how can I get there? There are two entrances into the sewers from the Undercity. One to the northeast of our village, the other to the southeast. But the sewers are dangerous, Upworlder. If you dare to travel those dark tunnels, you would be wise to go heavily armed, unless you wish to become a meal for the rock ghouls and the other foul creatures. Oh, that's... That's interesting. Uh, can you say the mod title? Flawless white. Um, what? Flawless white screen is the website with the ending of org. Okay. That's one way to say it. But I'll Google it and look through it. As soon as I get the chance, I am interested. Because, yeah, it looks like an old game. So, might be interesting. Uh, I want to ask some questions. Yes, we actually ask have questions, another question. Upworlder. I will answer to the best of my knowledge, though I know little beyond the borders of the Undercity. Yeah, lucky for you, I'm asking about the uh, Rat Ghouls that live down here. The Rakuls are monsters, hideous mutations who feast on the flesh of our villagers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their Where are they? jaws can infect those they attack, transforming the victim into one of those abominations. We know of no cure for the disease, and for the good of the village, we must banish any who become infected, lest they transform and turn on us. Yeah, but... Where are they? How can I find them? Ah, fine. I think I'll be going now. As you wish, Upworlder. Should you have need of anything else, come speak to me. I represent the entire village okay. and I will do my best to help you however I can. Won't miss them. That's a promise. Great. 
All right, Shalina is just walking here. Um, now, what else? Big place. Hmm. I can't go in there. Nope. All right. I think I won't be able to miss them. Hey, you ain't from the village. You're from the upworld, ain't you? Yes. You older pride me. Watch yourself. There's something slimy about this guy. Is this a I different guy? As far as I can throw him. My name's Saigir. I run a little salvage shop here. You want to buy something from my store? I got some good deals. Brings back some great memories when I played this on Xbox One. And by that you mean the first Xbox and not the new Xbox One. The name is so confusing, it's crazy. Um, how do you actually manage to run a store here in the Undercity? If a villager comes across any useful salvage in the Undercity, they bring it to me. Every so often, members from the lower city gangs come down to trade for the salvage. They'll exchange food and medicine for engine parts, old blasters and the like. Sometimes they even give me credits if I have some really good stuff. Yeah, and you, Jim Jim, tried to play it there. Um, I would also suggest that you go and check the mods um, if you want to try again. But yeah, so what part are you taking this? I am going evil, dark. I don't know how hard I need to go on it, but I'm mainly going dark. Hmm. Let me see your inventory. It ain't the best stuff. Mostly salvage and such, but the prices are right. I don't think we want to really buy anything here but you know huh. arcanian heavy pistol no mostly i'm checking that if there's any specialty items quarter stuff hmm retinal combat implant well that's interesting but <laughs> red or dead, baby. <laughs> okay. Indeed, Hester. Have I searched all of this place yet? No, I certainly have not. What's this way? Hmm, literally nothing. Really? This whole area here is just completely empty. Okay. But, I mean, how would I ever play a Star Wars game and not go for the Hurry, Sith Hedda, agenda? Hurry! I can hear it coming! He'll never make it! He's doomed! <sighs> I told him he was a fool to leave the village. He will make it! Run, Hindar, run! Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! Uh, I... I can't! The Rackles are too close! The mutants will kill him if you don't open the gate! And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all! No! You can't do this! It Ooh. isn't fair! Please, make him open the gate! Hindar will die if he doesn't! I can't open the gate! Not while the Rackles are so near! <sighs> Open the gate, I will kill the raccoons, but first, um, where is my accent from? I'm from Finland, uh, which is one of the only countries that <laughs> fit the time zone. Yeah, from Finland. Open the gate, I will kill the raccoons. Hmm. You'd risk your life for a stranger? <laughs> no. You're brave, upworlder. I'll open the gate for you, but you gotta be quick. In a few seconds, I must close and lock it again. I just want to kill the Rackgulls. 
<laughs> the lovely tropical Finland, yeah. Absolutely, not the kind that would freeze your nose off. Um, but what was my mission here? Racule Serum. Selka at the upper city medical center is eager to acquire a sample of the Racule Serum used to, used by the Sith undercity patrols. However, Gurney, Zelka's assistant, mentioned that it might be more profitable if you... Yeah, but where is the ser serum? Do we just kill these things? How'd you like that? Damn. Oh, wow. Did I just... But I feel sick. Feel sick? Ah, freak. We're getting infected here. There you go. Four hundred experience. Also, to uh, also one hundred. I guess that's like extra. Um, but what does it mean that I'm infected? Oh, thanks for closing the gate. <sighs> you missed the cold. Hmm. 20 uh, 29 degrees. Woo hoo. That's like 30, uh, at least 35 more than where I am right now. Actually, probably more at night time. Yeah. Texas. Oh, well, that's a little bit warmer than here. Um, now, I was for some reason I thought that. Please, you have to help me. Nobody else is gonna help me. Even the Bex won't help me. But I can't just leave him there. He's my friend. You'll help me, won't you? Whoa! Slow down, mission. What's wrong? It's Zalbar. He's in trouble. Big trouble. We have to help him. If we don't, they'll sell him into slavery. Okay. Um. <laughs> Too pale for the heat. Yeah. yeah. Ah. I know the feeling. And who's going to sell him into slavery? What are you talking about? Me, me and Zalbar, we were just wandering around here in the Undercity. Just wandering. You know, looking for stuff we could find, just kind of exploring. We do it all the time. I guess with a Wookiee at your side, you've got to figure you can handle the odd Rat Ghoul attack. Only this time, they were waiting for us. Gamorian slave hunters. We didn't even have a chance to run. Big Z threw himself at him and then roared for me to run. I, I took off. I figured Zalbar would be right behind me. But there were too many of them. He couldn't get away. They're going to sell him to a slaver, I just know it. Um, actually, like, I wouldn't say most Finns uh, speak good English, but younger people do, and um, since I started streaming, I have been trying to improve my pronunciation and all that. That's a big reason why I started streaming. But most people don't stream. So, um, do you know where they took him? I don't know for sure, but those Gamorians like to hang out in the sewers. The stink reminds them of home, I guess. That's probably where they took Big Z. If I help you get Salbar back, you have to get me inside the Volker base. Uh, I'm sure she just will do that. But, mm. All right, maybe I'll just do that. Like, wait here. I'll be back when I find Zalbar. No way. I'm the one that got Zalbar into this mess, so I'm coming with Great. him. Great. I'm not going to abandon him again. So let's go. Come on now. Oh. 
If I help... All right, let's just go with that. If I help you get Salbar back, you have to get me inside the Volgor base. It's a deal. As soon as we right. get Big Z back, I'll show you a way into that Volker base. Now come on! We have to find Zalba before they sell him to slavers, or worse! Do you know where he's being kept? The Gamorians make their camps in the sewers. I bet that's where we'll find Zalbar. And that's where I'll show you the secret entrance into the Volker compound. Yeah, and Germany and France and Italy, surprisingly, and do a lot of dubbing. But yeah. Mission has joined your party. Left click the response to go to the party selection screen. Yes, please. I've been looking for that. Thank you. Um, so we get... And that was the Twi'lek that we were... That we noticed before. We, and we are still looking for a droid. And this looks... A lot like maybe the oh, what was his name the bounty hunter the call something but we'll just go with this add her great level three scoundrel scoundrel great hmm German-speaking people are also popular where you live. Oh, hmm. Guess that makes sense. Oh, disable mine and recover mine. Um, what happens if we just go and recover it? Also, we can level up. I don't. I still have no idea, like, what I should be getting here. Hmm. Attributes. I kind of like my charisma. Honestly. Hmm. Skills. Can't get any more persuasion, but stealth? Nah, demolitions maybe. I've been using those a surprising amount of times. What else? What else? Repair? Maybe. Yeah. There you go. Oh, you have been granted the following feats at this level. Implant level 2, uncanny dodge, level 1. Great. What about her? What does she actually have? Not much. I guess, yeah. Compared to me, something. Let's just go with it. Oh. Can I now just recover the mine? No? Disable? Sure. Huh. Apparently I'm doing that. Uh... Isn't Finnish a Germanic language? Oh, no, it's not actually. It's more Uralic. Uh, Uralic. I am from the east. Skill too low. Okay. Can I just disable it? Yes, I could. Disable mine. Yeah, it's kind of its own family. But if only it was Germanic. Would would go better together with other Help. Germanic languages. Help me. Please. 
I I can feel it inside my skin. Ah, something freak. wrong. Like some kind of hideous disease. I guess that's exactly what it is. Hmm. Wait here, I'll see if I can find something to help you. No! No! I, I thought so. No! Ooh! That's a very hmm magnificent effect. Down you go! Alright. There you go. And I am also diseased. Diseased. Um, diseased in a way that I'm ill. Hmm. Oh, how am I supposed to get there? Wait, how does this work? The map doesn't show, and the lady doesn't tell. Ah, there you go. Disable the mine. <laughs> yeah, Finland is definitely beside Russia, and it's not something that we easily forget. Poisoned. Thank you. It's, it's good to have you in the chat. <laughs> Ah, some rubble. Anything here? Parts and credits. Well, that's great. Why are there credits in the rubble? I don't know. But, let's get in here. And yes, disable the mine. As you do. What level do I need to be to recover the mines? It's not like I actually use mines in literally any game. Huh. Oh, sh shite. Do I need to heal myself? Maybe not yet. Come on. How'd you like that? Oh, that was surprisingly easy. Uh, make sure you collect three journals while you're down here. Made the mistake and had to run all the way back. Oh, I'll keep my eye open. One of them. Hmm, mine's are useful because you can lay them down and kite your enemy. Okay. That does sound good, but yeah, why not? Just checking that there. it's still not possible, possible to recover. Nope. Hmm. I try to uh, think about it. Yeah, I that don't think I've used That energy shield leads to another section of the sewers. The ever. entrance to the Volker base is somewhere past there. I've got the codes to lower the shield, but we have to rescue Zalbar from those Gamorian slavers. Don't worry, we can come back after we find Big Z. Oh. If you press M and teleport back to your base, you can get free heals as well as saves. <laughs> no one is going to step on them if they glow. Mm -hmm. Also true. But. Oh, shit. Um, that was a quick save, wasn't it? I think so. I actually just... I didn't even listen to what she just said. What? Show feedback. 
Now we'll show dialogue. Huh. Oh, mission. Yeah, there you go. I was just confused and confused about it because her name is Mission. Uh, the energy seal leads to another section in the sewers. Hmm. Got the codes to lower the seal, but we have to risk a rescue Zalbar. Great. Yeah, you do that. Yeah, a quick save is too quick. Hmm. All right. So he's basically holding my mission hostage. Always nice when people do that. Oh, hello, beautiful. Let's. Uh. Maybe I should have healed. Like, gone to the apartment. There you go. Now let's check the remains. Ooh, that's a nice amount of credits. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's just go. Return to the hideout. Yes, there you go. Yes, to still have the combat music. And transit back. This is a bit of a weird system, isn't it? But sewer. Let's just go. Sewer door. Let's just do this. And stick. Anything else? I'm still... I, I try to keep my head in the game and... Try to remember... That you said... Something about those journals. But I need to look for those. That's a lot of things. Yeah, keep, just keep killing, just keep. Oh, actually, don't. Have a med pack. And then you can keep killing. God damn it. Not just normal attacks, critical strikes. There you go. Just loot everything you come across, and you'll be okay. That sounds good. Sounds like something I would do. Oh, one of your party is down. Party members who go down in combat will be revived at the end of the battle. If your entire party goes down, uh, it's game over. Sounds reasonable. Oh, it was him. Well, shit. Maybe it would be good to, you know, take a bit of distance. After all, you do have ranged weapons. Just keep shooting. There you go. Sure. Welcome back to the world. Ah, if you level up in combat, your party member will have full health. Well, that's nice. Ready. So, but only in combat. Or is it... Huh? I would assume that it's every time. Ready. So, just like this. Level up. Skills, computer use. Out of combat as well, good. Oh wow, this guy does not have many skills. Hmm. Awareness, repair security, treat injury. Uh, I have no idea. 
awareness. Okay, security might be good. What? Do, do, do not have enough skill points. Oh, frick, I only have one point. Treat injury. Well, that's... I'll go with it. Feats. Hmm. I am very much out of the... A fish out of water. When it comes to these things. Yeah, makes medpacks stronger. I would assume so. Improved power blast. I mean, that seems reasonable. But is there something else? Toughness gives extra vitality points. Oh, um, but it's retroactive for levels previously gained. Uh, oh, I will definitely ask. I don't mind a bit of backseating either. Because I I like being good at games. Like I like having a good run in an RPG. So a bit of backseating to make the run better is not a bad thing. Just, you know, spoilers are spoilers. Um, but improved power blast sounds like something I would like. So let's just go with it. Also, he is strongly in the light. Not as, you know, not like me. Also, she is also strong in the light. Wow! I did not expect that. Huh. Good choice. Thanks. What? Did you hear that? Oh, I didn't leave, level her up. Attributes. Well, she is much better as a person overall. You'll get some evil people later. That's good to know. Ah. Constitution, dexterity, charisma. Why is there even a charisma option? I don't think like charisma really matters to anyone else but the main character. Hmm. Dexterity, constitution, intelligence, wisdom. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Useless for companions, because they can't persuade. Constitution. Dexterity. I would po put more points to dexterity. Yeah. Um... Increases a character's defense rating, making them harder to hit. And high dexterity adds modifiers to blaster attack rolls. Blasters, grenades. Let's go with it. Skills, security. She is good with security. Also stealth. Huh. This is a really good follower. I would like to put points to security so that I can open some doors. Hmm, does that sound like a good thing to do? For this specific kind of character. Hmm. Well, I can apparently put only one point there. She is like the ranged rogue in your group. Sounds good to me. So, stealth? Not good with computers. Better than some people, but, you know. I would put stealth. Oh man, only one point. So, I guess we're just doing like... Not to repair. Computer reuse. Hmm. I guess so. 
or do we just save the point? How do we use the last two points? Any ideas? A computer use demolitions or repair. This is like the picklock, stealthy, mine lay layer gatherer. Also demolitions. If she is a mine. Oh my god, that also just one point. So. Computer use or demo? Both. Oh, apparently not. So we just go with it. Yeah, can't use that last point. Accept. Close that. And quick save. Just because. Also, what do we have in the inventory side of things? Um, not much. We could give her another blaster. I mean, why, why not? Is there any reason not to give two blasters? Hmm. Okay. Nothing else here. Cardio package equipped. I don't think we need anything more. You can save that point for later use, yeah. That's not a good idea because she missed a lot. Okay. What? So is it kind of a waste? She misses a lot. Um there you go. So none. Hmm. Come on now. There you go. What? So, I guess we continue this way. Or that way. Oh gosh. Neither one melee weapon or one blaster. Her blade is stronger than her blaster ability. Oh, really? Huh? Huh? I mean, we could give her something like a... Mission's Vibroblade. Okay. That seems like a good idea. Sure. Skeletal Corpse. Computer Spike, Med Pack. Nothing else there. Anything here? Oh, mines. Hmm. I guess we'll disable it. Isn't there another one? Maybe it was just that. Huh. I should have checked the other way. Let's just do that. If you want her to be range, I usually steal my companion's weapons. Ha, oh, I'm the strongest. You're lucky to be with me. Yeah, that sounds like something I would do either. I like also. Hmm. And it sounds like something I have done in other games. Gosh, there's nothing here. I, I, I mean, there's too much here, really. I was thinking that because the other way was so open. Gosh, damn it. Knew that was going to happen. Yeah, the other way was so open that this was going to be just a room. But no, it's a whole other four-way. Ah, there's... Everyone is dead now. Just murder them, Caden. Murder. Great. Get items. What? Garth is a boss. Let's... 
Let's do this. Return to hideout. Heal up. Transit back. This is such a weird system. But great. At least it works. Look at this. This is one of those old style manual locks. No computer codes or nothing. The sewers is the only place you'd see one of these on Terrace. You can't use conventional security spikes on these old locks. But don't worry. I've come across them before. I've rigged up a little device that should do the trick. Why? Mm. Oh, hello. Mm. Sight for Sore Eyes mm. mission. Mm. I'm glad to see you too, Big Z. You didn't think I'd forget about you. Mission and Zalbar, together forever. We met already. Big Z. These are my new friends, Big Z. Without them, I could never have got you out. <sighs> well, anyway, good to meet you, Zalbar. I am Abyssineku. You know the language of my people? That is a rare among your species. I'm impressed. What? That is rare among your species. I'm impressed. Okay. You have saved me of servitude and slavery. I swear my life. You sure about that, Pixie? Life death. Think about it carefully. You better be sure about this. We wookies are used as slave labor on our own home world. And this wookie is a talker. life dead to you? Wow, this is major. Do you realize what it means? <laughs> He's a grown-ass Wookiee mission, shut up. Damn, he knows what he's doing. Bit of a talker, though. What What was Wookiee home planet called? Kashyyyk? Kashyyyk, that's, that's Wookiee home planet, isn't it? Um. <laughs> I've always wanted a Wookiee slave. No. Um. It's some kind of loyalty vow, isn't it? A life debt is the most solemn vow a Wookiee can make. It means he'll stay by your side for the rest of your life. Wherever you go, whatever you do, Zalbar will be with you. <coughs> Forever after I will be on your side, Visteneku. Okay, may the vow be as strong as the roots of the great Roger trees of Kashyyyk. I'm honored to accept this vow. You... You are a bit of a moron if you vow to me after just meeting me, but, you know... Hmm... I guess this means you're stuck with me, too. Wherever Big Z goes, I'm going. I almost lost him once. It's not gonna happen again. Okay. Glad to have you on board, mission. So, Why won't this I guess nightmare I still owe you end? One secret path into the Volker base. That was the deal, wasn't it? Don't worry. I know a back door into that scum den. Great. The sooner we get there, the better. Like, is that back door? Does that back door happen to be through the force field? Oh well. I better come with you. The Volkers put up a force shield to keep the sewer dwellers out. I'm one of the only non-Volkers on Terrace who can get you past it. Great. I can't remember exactly how to get there, but I know it was somewhere here in the sewers. Over to the northeast, if I remember right. I just hope the Rancor monster isn't still there. <laughs> Rancor? Are you serious? There used to be a Rancor monster that made its nest in that part of the sewers. Pretty much eats anything it can get its claws on. That thing is huge! Yeah, they tend to be. Luckily, rankers aren't too bright. I was able to sneak past it before, so I'm sure we'll figure something out. That is, unless you want to change your mind. Oh, come on. Just let's stop talking and go. <sighs> hmm. I'm 
I'm not afraid of any rancor. Let's go. Okay, then. Off we go. Like I said, somewhere to the southeast. Just look for the force shield and we'll know we're there. Yep. Zalabar has joined the party. Remember, you can only have two party members with you at any time. Uh, and the others will wait for you back at the apartment. Alright. The apartment suddenly makes sense. You can switch party members using the party selection screen. Accessible by left-clicking the party selection button while on the map screen. This button is disabled in areas that are considered dangerous. What area is not dangerous? Ah, so that was Wookie. Apparently none of these are going to be the call or whatever. But, I want him with me. I'm sorry, Karth. Right now it seems that I need to leave Karth behind. Not only because he has no skills to speak of, but also, you know, four is a crowd. Hmm. Can I zoom in a little bit? I guess not. But, come on now. We were here. <laughs> All right, can't go through there. How about here? Well, that looks good. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. I don't think we need to grenade them. <laughs> Let's engage in a knife fight. Great. Uh, sewer door. Can't we just... Oh, it's locked. Yeah? Can you open it for me? Gotcha. Like, Simple. in a good way. That doesn't, you know, break any knives. What? Uh, they can go through mines. Great. Zalbar has no I item equipped. Oh! What can we give him? Clothing? Apparently not. Uh, you cannot equip this item. You do not have the... Pre-requisite... Pre... -re what? Prerequisites. Please see the item description. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I'm going to assume that Iron Blaster would be a good one for Wookie. Uh, although it doesn't have much damage. He has his own weapon. Oh, where? I am blessed. Hmm. Blaster rifle, like I am blaster or e equipped. He didn't loot the chest, I believe. Okay. Well, let's kill these things. I'm sure we will manage. I mean, it's a Wookiee. That thing can... ...frighten things to death. Okay. How about we... Get... Get damn it, mission! Ah, hey, fine. Hey, Big Z. We gotta do something about your breath. I didn't want to say anything, but it's bad. Worse than usual, which is hard to believe. In fact, now that I think about it, your breath has been pretty rancid ever since we rescued you from those Gamorian slavers. What'd they feed you, buddy? He didn't. Wasn't their guest, mission idiot. 
I was a prisoner. I don't think oh, they cared. Oh, so that's terrible. I know how grouchy you get if you don't get your eight square meals a day. I'm amazed you didn't pass out from hunger. I managed to take a chunk out of the arm of the guard. Tasted awful, so I spit it out. Too bad. Ew! No wonder your breath is so bad, Big Z. Gamorians smell like bantha poodoo. We'll have to pick you up a toothbrush to clean that stench out of your choppers. Cookies don't cross their teeth. Mission just isn't done. <laughs> okay, relax. No toothbrush. Sheesh. Just try and eat something else to cover up that smell, okay? Stay away from anything that's smart enough to lock you in a cage this time. For now, let's stay focused. I agree. Do we have like a coffee table conversation here? Weapons locker. There it is. Ah, fine, I'll just bash it. This was not a good, a good idea. But fine. Just open it. There you go. Zalbar's Bowcaster. Hell yes. I do enjoy um, Bowcaster's look as a weapon. Hmm. Where the frick is it? Zalbar's Bowcaster. Yes, there it is. What is that? Cardio regulator. Saves fortitude plus two. This belt monitors and heartbeat and oh, can we? I guess so. If you go back to the base, you can upgrade his bowcaster. Sure. Um, yeah, like this. Return to hideout. And uh, this what? time we actually go to the apartment. Hmm. Hello, Karth. How are you doing? Doing anything? I don't think so. Upgrade ranged items. Zalbar's Bowcaster. Yes. That's the thing we had. And none of those. Great. Is there anything we can do about Mission Spider Blade? Nope. And I can't do anything about mine either. Just as a scope and assemble. Okay. Got that much. Uh, yes, you and you. Now transit back. Now, get damn it! Why can't I move? Can I move with you? Oh, it's because it's paused. Yes. There you go. The mine pauses my game. Which is kind of interesting. Corpse. What do we have here? Computer spike. Okay. Fine. Hmm. Haven't found anything really interesting. Oh, and that's just the same door. We were on the other side of it last time. That was where Zalbar was locked in. I guess this is where we were before. Yes! That's just another way to get here. Hmm. Let's just go here and see what happens. 
Hello, you bastards. <laughs> Oh, sh shite. Med pack. Just in time. Now, treat them. I feel like this is not going too well. Come on now. Med pack. More crate. And the combat mechanics are genuinely... Um, well, as far as I know, better in Dragon Age. At least a little bit. But maybe it gets a little bit easier as the game goes on. Like, you know get used to it eventually okay what do we have here remaining points yeah now we actually do have enough points to get one persuasion and treat injury maybe I think so I think so. Yeah. Shouldn't be too bad. I mean, the health pack did not heal me even close to completely. Huh. Dueling. Character that focuses on using single one handed weapons in battle gain plus one to attack and plus one to defense. Yeah, but I have two weapons. Is there anything for that? Zalbar in general has a ton of health. I would imagine, imagine so. That does make sense. Oh, improved critical strike. Uh, there is for two weapons. Oh, two weapon fighting. Yeah, this feat reduces the attack penalty of a character wielding a double-bladed weapon or two weapons. Yep, I th think this is what I'm looking for. Hmm. It's near the bottom. Really? Melee weapons, uh, toughness, dueling, uncanny dodge, and then there are blasters. He already has it. Oh, you mean weapon proficiency? Huh. But this is definitely for one weapon. Okay, but a two-weapon fighting does seem like something I should have, because I am missing a lot of my attacks. Yeah, uh, let's go with it. I have been using dual weapons so far, mostly, so I guess we can try and continue that way. It's not something that I do in any other game. So, why not? Okay. Yes? Yes? Just quick saving. Hmm. Guess we're going this way. Computer spike, adreda... Adrenal... Alacrity. I still have no idea what that really is. And can't search the bones. I guess that's because they are just bones. Hmm. Maybe try it for next time on Kotor. 
But your husband says you should tank it. Hard to say. But, um, as I was saying, uh, I have been playing Dragon Age, and in that, I'm playing as a dwarf that is pretty much tanking it. So I like to do something different here. Love it though. Really enjoying it. Come on, is this not... Oh. Not enough space to go through. Hmm. We should go that way. But yeah. Oh! Frick, I'm going the wrong way. Mission... Starting to hate you a little bit. Just because you are standing on my way all the time. Nothing personal. But it's really personal. Alright, disable that mine. You'll grow to hate her. <laughs> ah, that's nice to know. Ah. Promised land journal. I was starting to worry a bit. Like if I've missed all of them, but there's one. And you were saying there's three of them or something. Reactivate the droid. What? Why? What does... It's a rusted droid. Why would we reactivate it? Is there any reason to? I'm not going to reactivate it and before I know. Droids are there so you can send them to patrol and kill enemies for you. I've already killed almost everyone. There must be someone behind this door, but you know, other than that, not really even here. Oh. That's to Undercity. Hmm. We might check where this leads. Just checking. Huh. It's, it's the same place, isn't it? Looks the same to me. Oh well. Okay. Let's just... Somehow... Wait. Oh! We need to go through this forest field and that's it. Oh, I didn't... Yeah. Because there was that fog of war. I didn't realize it's the same door. You won't be able to get that computer to lower the energy fields unless you know the proper codes. Lucky for you, I've got them. I picked them off the pocket of a black Volker who had a little too much to drink in the cantina one night. Here, let me get that energy field down for you. You're a little too proud of that. You are literally stealing, uh, 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 saying that you stole from a drunk guy. And you are proud of it. There you go. Read that. Oh shit, there was something behind me. No, crit, crit, crit. Critical striking. By the way, that thing that I got does not add anything more. No. It's just a normal thing. Oh, they're fighting each other. Well, that's helpful. I'll help. 
and then I'll kill you. Nice. I'm a good person. Huh. Oh, shit. Well, let's go here. Are you fighting anything? Nah. How about I select the Wookiee and attack Rabbit Shot? Rabbit Shot, I guess. Take that. Take that. There you go. I just let those two do their own thing. And now, just forward, I guess. There aren't much choices here. Ooh! Malfunctioning droid. How is it malfunctioning? Seems to be doing quite well. Oh shit. Alright, you, dude. Disable yes. the mine. Didn't work. Nope. Try again. Didn't work. I see. I don't think this is going to work. Oh, it did. Somehow. Why am I stuck here. There you go. Mission is usually awesome at getting the mines. That's good to know. Huh. Let's see now. Is this going to be a room or a passage? A room full of people. Dead people. <laughs> There you go. Just kill them all. Yeah, not much of that guy left. Really? He died first? Huh. I didn't even know anyone was hitting him. Oh well. Battle stimulant. What? Sore. I'll just have that. Skeletal corpse, computer spike and credits. No more journals. But I guess I'll see more of them later. That way. Yep. Ooh. I should use mission for this. But that seemed to work. We'll just go with it. Hey Big Z, don't take this the wrong way, but lately I've noticed you're starting to look a little bit scruffy. <laughs> Suggesting a bath. I know how well that went over last time. But your hair is getting all tangled. And uh, if you look close, you can see a few gray strands starting to poke through. <laughs> Finally, Wookiee subtitles the technology. Indeed. S still no translators, though. But she has got a point, Zalbar. You could use a good makeover. Uh, really, Zalbar looks fine to me. Don't worry, Big Z. It's nothing I can't fix. A little trim, a splash of coloring, and you'll be as good as new. Best looking Wookiee on the planet. Maybe a nice suit. <laughs> <laughs> you don't trim a Wookiee. You don't color a Wookiee. 
And you certainly don't dress a Wookiee. I know, Wookiees aren't into the whole clothing thing, but you could start a whole new trend. You'd be on the cutting edge. I agree, leave. Leave Zalbar okay, alone. Hey, okay, sheesh. Try to offer some constructive criticism and this is the thanks I get? Let's move on. You can just stay naked and scruffy for all I care. <laughs> ah, that sounds like a good way to live a life, though. Where am I going? <laughs> These naps. Severed arm. That's always a nice thing to find. In random hallways. Uh, synthesize odor. Big data pad. Great. Okay. Yeah. Um. Sore. <laughs> oh no. I certainly have met the Rancor. The Rancor hasn't met me yet. Frag grenades, computer spike. Oh man. There's nothing behind me. Flee? That seems like a reasonable thing to do. Stealth inundate synthesizer. Huh. Uh, hmm. well, yeah. She does have stealth. Can I somehow just control her? Solo mode on. Yep. Right click. File and give. What pile? Like this? Switch to give item. So... Items available to place in container. So, synthesized odor. Uh, first, I kind of want to check what that is. Inventory. That looks like a trash can, though. Hmm. Where can I see it? Synthesized odor. This appears to be... A timed release device for a strange substance. The liquid has a very pungent odor. Hmm. So, what does it... I, I would assume that it... It will lead the Rancor away from the door, so that we could sneak around. That's what I assumed that it would do. So, do we now stealth? No one's gonna see this mission. Oh. Nothing happened. Whoa, okay. 
Well, that happened. Shite. <laughs> okay. So what do we do now? Our only stealth person is getting very much eaten. So, grenades? I'm going to say grenades. Is this according to plan, boss? Uh, yes. I mean, which option is worse? Yes, I wanted you to die, or no, my plan was complete farce. Um, she almost woke up. Almost. What do we actually do here? I'm going to say that didn't work. Um, so... Was I supposed to put the grenades here too? Like, a few of them... And a synthesizer. Yeah. Experience points, 200. Ah, well, that seemed to work. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. And it did eat all of my grenades. Well, that's nice. <laughs> did I have to yeah. die for this plan, boss? Yes. I mean... You didn't quite die. Just, you know, it was a necessary sacrifice. We all need to do sacrifices sometimes. I mean, you some you needed to sacrifice yourself, and I needed to sacrifice a partner. We all need, we all do sacrifices. Ah, oh, crap! I did not think this through. Just go and hit it with your knife. Oh gosh. Wookie! Oh shite! Yeah, solo mode off. Oh. Well. Well, this is a thing now. Fine, I'll use a med pack. Antidote kit. What? Med pack, yes. And this is what happens when you sacrifice your soldiers for no reason. I had a good reason. Hmm. Decently good. Kind of. Well, there you go. This time I didn't tell her to sacrifice her herself. She just did it anyway. So, she likes to do that. Come on. She just likes to sacrifice herself. Could you, could you just kill the thing? I didn't mean my thing. Yeah, oh gosh. Load game. <laughs> That almost worked out well. Hmm. Auto save. So at w what part are we? Ah, we are here and we can do better this time. Follow me, man. Okay. 
You won't be able to get that computer to lower the energy fields unless you know the proper codes. Lucky for you, I pick. You won't be able to. I pick. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You pick pickpocket a, a drunk guy. You are a good person. Let's kill these bastards. And then go and kill the Rancorn bastard. And then move on to kill some other bastards. A lot of bastard killing in my time. Oh. Not much to kill anymore. But there you go. Where did we go from there? This way. And these ones were quite easy. How many grenades do I need to use? Because it's a grenade, I would assume that um, one would kill a big thing from inside anyone's stomach. But. Maybe it doesn't quite go what? like that. Alright, disable or recover. Let's try and recover it. If she's any... Uh, I think I've been this is a you freaking idiot! <laughs> Don't worry. We died. We died right after Rancorn. So, <clears throat> I plan to do a little bit better. What? Uh, can we... Let's return to hideout. Just... <sighs> and back. This game is difficult if you don't know Oh, bugs and tricks. Yeah, well, let's call this a learning curve. Oh yeah, these guys. You know what? Do we just throw a grenade in there? No, wait, not that guy. This guy. Does it even work like that? I think it does. Fantastic. Doing amazing on my first go round. Thank you. It's good to have positivity in the chat. Usually, well, not usually, but sometimes. Um, <clears throat> I am not doing as excellent. So, there are some hmm, understandable things, comments and such. <laughs> you may want to save grenades for the first boss on Paris. Oh. Hey, Big Z. Okay. Don't take this the wrong way, but lately... And no. we went through this... Already, Salabar looks fine to me. I... Okay. That's pretty much how it went. And we found a severed arm, which is always a good thing. Synthesized odor. That's exactly what I was looking for. <sighs> Mission can't let it go. Nope. Now, yeah, maybe we can just, you know, stealth. No one's gonna see this mission. Does that also mean that it's automatically, um, you know, just me? 
I don't think the stealth does anything in this case, but... You know. Get those items. Put some odor in it. And... I guess... We can try... With just one grenade. Close that. Eat it. There you go. Instead of calling it Odor in America, we call it Stank. Also works. Huh. Sure. I'm sure it's quite true in either case. And now, you people come with me. That's the mistake I did last time. I didn't put the solo mode away. Now I save that. Just checking that there's nothing new in here, like... <sighs> Rangorn Guts. Which I guess we can find in here, too. Why am I doing this? By Rancorn? Uh, sure. That big thing that just disappeared. Why wouldn't it? Now! Now we go here and... Uh, we already know there are dudes behind this door that last time killed us. So, this time we go in prepared. Hello! A fine mahawk to you all. Yep, I did say. Pushed quick save. But... This time it's much easier when I'm not actually fighting them alone. <laughs> Just... Dude, you can move. At least you should be able to move. Energy shield. Oh, quick save can buck. Alright, let's save here. I like, uh, Real safe. Elevator. That's always nice. <sighs> Let me just return to hideout and get back. I just like to imagine that these people just go back and forth all the time. Like, Thanks for the stream. I'm going to hang out in Kide's for a while. Oh, is Kide streaming? That's good to know because uh, I can host her later. <laughs> but yeah, absolutely good to have you here. And see you another time. Always nice to have you. All right. Volcar Patrol Droid. Ooh. Standard door. There's a lot of patrol droids here. Well, a lot, meaning not just one. Someone is listening to some disco music. Yeah. Oh, hello, patrol droid. I guess you are going to die now. <laughs> Wow, it does not have much health. I guess it, it, the, his neck was basically just a stick, so... Ouch. Ouch. There's... Wait, that's not... That's a Volcar bartender.
Gotta lay off some steam being at the Volker base, yo. Really? You are saying that I should not just be running around killing everything I see. Hmm. What is that? Oh, that's a... Um, I can't remember the species names. Leave no one alive. That sounds like me. Bouncer Croyd. Hell yeah. By the way, I am planning to put this up on YouTube. Um, if there is any chance that anyone wants to see that. Oh, waitress. Hello? Please don't hurt me. I just yeah. served the food here, that's all. I'm not like these others. I'm not even a black Volker. Please don't kill me. How did you end up being here if you're not a, a black Volker? Hmm. My name is Ada. My father owed Davik some money, but he couldn't pay. Davik killed my father and sold me into slavery here at the Volker compound to pay off the debt. You better... Okay, don't worry. I just want to ask you a few questions. Well, all right. I still don't know how much help I can be, but I sure hope you get rid of all the Volkers. I hate them. Uh, where can I find a prototype swoop engine accel accelerator? What? I I've never heard of such a thing. Hmm. I guess it might be in the garage on the lower level. That's where all the Volkers go to work on their swoop bikes. But I've never been down there. The elevator is protected by a security system. Only the Volkers are allowed to go down there. I'm looking for a prisoner. A woman named Bastila. Is she that Republic soldier? I heard one of the Volker mention her, but she's not here. He said Brezhik didn't trust his men around her. I guess she's too important to be a slave here in the kitchens. Getting pawed and groped and kicked and spit on like me. Brezhik must have taken her somewhere safe. Okay. Hmm. I am tempted to just kill everyone, but um, I don't usually do that, and I think that um, because uh, most of the time I'm like, yeah, even if I play dark, I prefer to play it in a way that I am just purely selfish. But, I don't attack first. That's how I usually do things. But, then again... Hmm. And this, uh, this shouldn't be a critical moment in the game, I think. But, it is a critical moment in my game. Do I kill her or do I not? What in what way am I going to play the game? <laughs> Shoot now and ask questions later. Let's go with it. Leaving you alive is too risky. Sorry, sis. Looks like your order is up. No! I won't go out like this. Not after all I've been through. I, I won't just let you kill me without a fight. Dark side points gained. I guess that is how I'm, I should do this. To go fully dark. Hmm, pretty fully. <laughs> we like a struggle. Sonic grenade, concussion grenade. Concussion. Concussion is a completely different thing. I don't know what that is, but... You know. Hmm. Standard door. This chest goes back into the hallway. 
I guess we can just go with this. Security panel. Here he is. Hello, you. Come on now. Just stop teleporting around and die. You. Black Volcar. Also, die. There you go. Oh my god. Would you finally die? Uh, I am so low on health. Hmm. Alright, I think we could take a walk back to the base or hideout. No! Unavailable at this time. Finally! That actually makes sense. Medpack. Antidote kit. Yeah, medpacks. I'm afraid I may have used antidote kit by accident at some point. I'm not sure. What? Level her up. Skills. Um. We can go with demolition and security, can't we? And actually, everything else too. There you go. Feats. Sneak attack 3. Huh. You have to walk out of the Walker base. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But... Oh, it automatically gives you the sneak attack. Well, that's nice. What is this? Sniper shot. Well, she doesn't actually have a sniper. Oh, the, although, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Hmm. What is this? Caution. This feat gives you plus two skill point bonus to both demolition and stealth. This replaces the plus one bonus given by caution. Improved caution, yeah. Huh. I don't know. We could go with a weapon focus and melee weapons because she does have a decently good melee weapon, doesn't she? At least it seems that way. Also, we could just go with the dueling thing. Like improved dueling. Huh. I guess the second, like a uh, weapon focus melee weapons is a good thing to have first. And then the dueling thing, improved dueling. So let's go with it. Mission weapons. Yeah, uh, I usually make Zalbar use missions, weapons, and mission with Zalbar weapons. Okay, that's an interesting way to do it. Hmm. Is it because uh, Zalbar would, uh, would be strong, so uh, melee weapons would do well with him? Huh, that's, that's really interesting. Improved sniper shot. Would that help with... Uh, with Zalbar's weapon? He has a lot of... He has a lot of he health and he has so much strength. Yeah, that does sound reasonable. So, uh, the sniper shot uh, is... Zalbar's weapon, the crossbow. Like, does this affect that? This feat triples the critical threat chance of ranged attacks. 
if weapon needs a roll of 20, that's so funny to see that in video games. A critical hit will result on 18 to 20. Yeah, let's go with this. I think that was a really good idea. Also, he is leveling up, so skills. Uh, let's give him... I don't know. Awareness? St uh, uh, what? Uh, it, it's not like he needs to treat injuries that much. Not as much as other people. Hmm. I guess we can go with awareness. There isn't much anything else that I would give him. Feats. We would make him a melee kind of guy. Power attack. Improved power attack. He already has those. Also, he already has weapon focus on melee weapons. Wow, okay. Huh. I think we are just going to give him... What? I don't know. Improved flurry. I haven't used flurry at all, even on my own character. Conditioning provides a plus one bonus to all saving throws, reflecting the character's excellent physical conditioning. Third tier attack. Wait, what? Huh. Because we can't do this yet. Apparently it requires level 8. I'm not sure if you if that's what you meant. So... Conditioning? We could just make him like a fantastic pawn. I guess conditioning won't hurt. Improve conditioning and master conditioning. Yeah, some conditioner for the Wookiee. There you go. And then we switch up the weapons. First, none to you and you. Take Zalbar's Bowcaster. Zalbar. Take Mission's Vibro ba um, Blade. Great. What? I think that is a good idea. Probably. Oh! Hello, you two. Ah, frick. Just, I want to select that other guy. Apparently, that's not an option. Yet. Hmm. Do you... You have a, an improved sniper shot, so... We just do that. You... Man, that blade looks like a stick in your hand. Yes. There you go. Med pack. Fantastic. I'm still streaming for about half an hour. I like to keep it what? pretty consistent. Gotcha. Simple. There you go. Foot locker. Iron blaster. Heavy blaster. Iron rifle. These all sound like good things. 
Hmm. Mesh underlay. Huh. And a military suit. I think I'm checking those out. There you go. So, military combat suit. Let me check my fir uh, my main character first. Like, is that any better? Yeah, it is. Max dexterity bonus. Hmm. Okay. Oh, it's an upgrade. Yeah. So we can go back to the base and do that. Combat suit. That's obviously better. And that's it. There was there was energy shield at some point, but I don't know, do we do we equip this? Huh. I feel like I should save it. Useful for melee or range. I mean, what other forms are there? Nice to use if you're going to take a lot of damage. Well, it's always nice to plan on almost dying. There. Security panel. Slice the computer. Um, didn't what? she have like a computer usage skill? Where can I see that? Where can I see skills? Computer use. Wait. Skill rank. Three. Oh, I'm much much better with compu computer use. Sure, okay. I usually use it before fights that have many enemies. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, slice the computer. One spikes. System override accepted. I don't know what slice the computer means. Like, really. But it works. Access security cameras. Uh, this is too much info. Armory. Yeah, that's literally where I am. Okay, slice is hack. <laughs> Return to camera root menu. Wait, I switch to camera. Now, return to camera, root menu, garage elevator. Those are things that are going to shoot me, aren't they? Yes, shut down garage elevator security system. Six spikes. I think that's reasonable. Great, they are now disabled. Great. Uh, what else? Control room. There is some guy with a knife. Okay. A pool table. No, just a pool. There is a droid, but that's it. I can't do anything about the droid, so I guess it's not hostile. Barracks. Ooh! 
is there anything we can do to just, you know, lock the room and gas them? Or, you know, overload power conduit in main barracks. Three spikes. Lovely. What else? Rec room. Uh, that's where the music was coming from. No one in the rec room. I think that's all. Yeah. Hello? No, wait. Access system commands. Open all security doors. Oh, upload. Upload. Upload? Area schematics. I mean... Yeah. Sure. Open all security doors. Why not? I've done literally everything. Not useful, in your opinion. Ah, frick. Well, it's nice to have a map, but... It's a little weird to use the word upload when you're downloading. Is it just me? Maybe it's just me. Okay. Oh, it's a cook. Hello. I'm sorry you're dead. You... Well, you are a mindless toy, so... I'm not that sorry. Alright. Well, I guess I'll try to disable it myself. Doesn't really matter, does it? Supplies. Parts, computer spike, med pack. Hmm. I've only found one of the journals. Disabled sentry. Well, this time I kind of feel like we could reactivate it, but then again, we already saw that there aren't many people here. And actually, the people we saw, most of them are now dead. Oh, this is the rec room. Oh, what remains are these? Repair kit. Sore, okay. How did I miss that before? Yes. There's a leakage here. These people don't even notice that. Come on now. Oh, that's... Just the elevator. Loot will drop from the people you killed from the computer. What? The computer? Ooh, nice amount of credits. Um, there you go. <laughs> ah, games. So, what do you mean from the computer? Let's not do that again. Okay. One thing we didn't do was overload the terminal. No, I mean, uh, where they were, and not what, where you were at. Oh, okay, yeah. Hmm. I guess I understand. If you do that, you'll blow up 
Oh, okay. Well, ain't that nice? Hey, Karat secure. How did I not see that? Let's try to go back there. Come on, people! Just... If I try to get past you, just move an inch. Why do I say an inch? Ah. Supposed to be an European person. Uh, I have a talk option. Like, I like to imagine my character just saying like, Hello? How you doing? Okay, that's the Black Volcar base. All right. Huh. Yeah, I should be using metric. Like that makes sense. But when I am speaking in English, I use terminology that uh, I've learned from. Americans, which is just a little weird. Okay, upper sewers. So this goes back to the sewers. Huh. All right, now I'm thinking which elevator I'm supposed to use. I think I just need to go down to the garage and then come back here and go up to the sewers so we go back here use this elevator okay jump ball droid we didn't we never saw the pool so that might be here somewhere One repair part. Huh. Optimize droid's targeting system. Two repair parts. It will attack any enemies that come in range. Like... Oh yeah, uh, targeting system, so it will shoot a little bit better. I don't care about that. It can die if need be. Hmm. Ooh, pre-programmed droid to ram loading bay doors. Uh, is that a good thing? I uh, ram loading bay doors. Why would I do that? Huh. It's an option, so I would assume that it does something good. <laughs> you know what, I'll... I think I'll just try it. Reprogram droid to ram the loading bay doors. Yeah, let's just go with it. Um. Well, we did this. I don't know why. That happened. Ac that actually worked. Oh shit! I already already died. Man! Improved power uh, attack, yes? Oh. Well, that ain't nice. Come on now. Do your thing. Melt. Oh, shit. Where are you? Like, genuinely, where are you? Huh? What the... what? 
What? Yeah, that's my question. You were... You went around here somewhere. What are you even tr trying to do? You just let your Wookiee die. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let's let's try that again. <laughs> okay. Um. How far back am I? Oh shit. I'm pretty far back. <laughs> Amount of ownage and confusion. You'll never get me. Uh, that chef was pretty good at, you know, avoiding my knives. I guess he does deal with knives all day. But how did I not quick save closer to that point? Hmm. Genuinely, I just didn't even know where I was then. Like where she was. It was quite confusing. Yeah, need to save often in this game. That's why I um, put my quick save key on F5 as it's in many other games. Because I can't remember what it was before. Oh yeah, quick load was on F5, which was just a headache waiting to happen. There you go. Now I don't know if I've actually messed with the computer yet. But I hope so. Nope! These are definitely still active. Well, shit. Actually, I do need to mess with the computer. Uh, I still want to overload that one machine that kills many people. You know, as you do. There you go. Security cameras. Uh, first, was there anything here? Yeah, open all security door. Whoa! Fuck! Well, that killed me. <sighs> I accidentally clicked on overload the terminal. Can I get a fail fish in the chat? That de and definitely deserved it. Slice the computer. Open all security doors. Access system commands and no, don't overload the terminal. And I'm not going to load the map either. Thank you, Balaba. <laughs> security cameras. Um, Barracks, yes. Three spikes to kill them all. There you go. What else do we do? Garage elevator. Yes. I want to spike those two. Happy spiking. I don't think there was anything more. <laughs> yeah. That one Volker lived and was like, what the fuck just happened? I like it too. <laughs> oh, I like to leave one person alive to tell the story. Oh gosh. Let's just look out. Did I search all of this yet? 
Yeah, I did. And these people all have the right things. Yes. Yes. All right. Ten more minutes. Yeah, you can disable that mine. I was kind of hoping that. I, could... oh, I think I've been poisoned. Thank you, thank you. That was great. <sighs> fine, fine. Get items. I'm still going to quick save, even though I am swimming in poison. Hmm. I think I need to med back myself. You kill that guy. Flurry, why not? You kill that guy. No, kill that guy in a sniper shot. Yeah. Which is a bit silly. Nice med packing, idiot. Uh, yes. Okay. You can't return to hideout. Just do that. Come on. Can't move. Can you move? Yeah, you can move. That was weird. Hmm. I feel like I should like loot those or something, but oh well. Now, quick save, and why not make a real save here? Um, so slot four. Yes? You... Quiet. Reactivate the droid. And make it ram the doors. Because why would you not? There he goes. Now, junk pile droid. I don't think we need to do anything with that. Okay, that thing is shooting at us. Ooh, yeah. Oh! Well, thank you, Zalbar. Or what was your name? Zalbar, right? Oh, gosh. Zalbar, yes. Uh, I, I, for a second there, I was not sore. Mission and Salabar. Oh! Well. Uh, this is not going too well. Can you still freeze? Yeah, you can. Well, uh, yes, uh, please, sniper shot. Take that! Wow, that did nothing. Just more, more, do more things. Are you kidding me? Does this do nothing to that? I recommend not speaking with the droid when you enter. I usually fight the LA elite droid last. You'll never get me. That would make sense, wouldn't it? I mean, clearly I die. 
if I do this. So, <laughs> it does make a slight bit of sense, doesn't it? That was a pretty beautiful death, though. And if I, when I die, I want to die in a pose like that. Hmm. Yep, that's the last one. A ton of mines. I don't actually have any mines, do I? Yes. Wait, do I? I, I don't know where my mines would be. I don't think I have any mines. Okay. Garage head. That doesn't sound healthy to me at all. On the far right where you have medpacks, similar... Oh! An average frag. Yep. So that is a mine, um, but... Hmm. I'll just need to do that when I plan to open the door. <laughs> Gus, did you die again? Uh, oh man! Life in life ain't easy for you. Oh wow! Ouch! You backstabbed me. Freaking hell! Just. Stop killing me. It's really unpleasant. There you go. You people, could you just die? Now, would you kindly lay dead on the ground? No, not you. Oh well, I think I'm going to be um, trying that the next stream. This is a fine place to end, isn't it? No, it's not really, but... <laughs> I am going to be dropping a host for uh, Kide, aren't I? Uh, looks that way. Wait, who else is streaming? Sinister Gaming is streaming Monkey Island. Um, but Kide is streaming Okami. Also a nice game. So, I'm going to be dropping a host for her and please, I want, I would like you, for you to join me next time as well or some other time. Whenever you can. Always nice to have you here. So, thank you all for joining me and Good night, if that's your thing. Bye.